I can't say I'm 100% sure it didn't happen because of the behavior. Um, I saw a lot of positive behaviors in the interviews and smiling and and he just seemed happy at times. But then in January, the behavior of him looking like he might have relapsed a little, that's where I get my doubt from. And Another thing is, how did the family and the bandmates not see that behavior? If we as fans, people that don't know him on a personal, intimate level, can see that, how did his family not see that? I mean, Vicki had said that she missed signs of addiction, um, not depression, because he wasn't depressed. It was addiction. Well, if my husband acted like that on January in January when he was performing with Audio Slave and he came home like that or if, if she wasn't there I'm sure she was there but um, I would have been like whoa okay I would have noticed that he was drinking or he had been drinking or he had taken something because that wasn't normal behavior if you compare it to other performances you know him being a recovering addict um, and alcohol was his main issue it does concern me because he had said that he doesn't do any of that anymore um, in an interview last I, mean, I think it was in 2015 or 16 um, so if he had drank that's a big deal for somebody a recovering alcoholic it's a big deal if they have one sip and it could have you know started something with him and that makes me sad to think about that and but I mean there's been no explanation for his behavior that night and really no one's talking about it and um, I'm not saying that I'm changing you know that changing my mind about how I feel about what happened on May um, 17th into the 18th I uh, you know this year I'm just saying that this is why I'm not a hundred percent. I can't say I'm a hundred percent sure he didn't accidentally hurt himself, you know, about the fans and conspiracy theorists and people attacking the family supposedly by saying that they had something to do with it. And, um, I understand a lot of that stuff's crap. I don't. A lot of these people can be really hateful, and I don't agree with any of it. Um, but for the for the ones that are actually trying to do this nicely and respectfully, and do not say things that are not true, not say they're a hundred percent true. Um, you know. For the good people out there, they just really want to answer. So they just want answers so they can just move on, you know. I don't understand why they just don't give us answers. If they're tired of hearing it, if they're tired of um, all the backlash, release the video from the hotel. 
that you say you have. Release the phone records that you say, you know, the phone calls that you say happened between Chris and the bodyguard and Chris and his wife. I know that's privacy. It's a privacy issue. And, you know, some people want to stand their ground and be like, I shouldn't have to release my personal records to the media or to the world just because to prove my, you know, I'm not going to prove myself. I don't have to. Okay, well then don't complain if people don't believe the stories. Because they, I mean, the police records are pretty shady. They don't, they don't all add up. Not all the reports are the same, and we've went over that. A lot of people have gone over that. So, I mean, proof that those phone records happened at that time, and I mean, a lot of that would clear up the timeline issue that everyone's confused about. You know, release all the photos from the crime, uh, from the hotel. All the stuff that might, you know, could have been found in his bag. The proof that he had the migraine medicine. You know, they just don't want to do that. And it makes me think, why are you not doing that? I mean, you're complaining about all the backlash, but then... You don't want to release this stuff, and it's like you're hiding something. I don't know. What do you guys think? Bless you! This next song is dedicated to Andrew Wood who is now in the nether regions. He was a singer of a band called Mother Love Boat and he died in a couple weeks ago. So this is a love song for you by his record. It's the last chance you'll get.
steps. I wanted to show you all this video real quick of that. Let me see. This guy would get out of the way right there. You see that? This was in Florida on April 30th. That's the same vault spot that I'm seeing, and I'm not sure, but it just seems like... Why won't it let me pause it at that? Uh, frustration. Okay. I'm pausing and my computer's being stupid. Right there. You see it? Hopefully you see it because I don't want to have to do that again. Because my kids suck all my internet speed. So <laughs> when I try to down uh, upload videos, it doesn't work out very well. Um, the other two videos I showed a while ago without any commentary were, I think that was Jacksonville. His eyes just seemed kind of out of it and like he almost tripped like when he was getting down from one of the steps. Um, and that was in April, so... I saw weird behavior with him in January and then in April. But the other videos in between, I haven't, they seem pretty normal, so I don't, I don't know. But um, when you're going through these videos just at home yourself, if you look through these, sometimes if you do what I'm doing right here, you can actually catch certain things that you wouldn't if you're just watching it. Um, if you just push play and watch it, um, also you can get some pretty cool screenshots as well. There's a backdrop behind us right here. If anyone's paying attention on the lights, which maybe they're not, whoever has control of what that does, you can't see it because maybe they're not listening to me. But that, that is the cover of our new album, King Animal, uh, that came out a little over a year ago. This next song is a song from that album, but if you're a fan for real, uh, and you mean it in your heart, we made that album for you, for, for all of our fans. That's why we did it. So, steal it, borrow it, download it illegally, whatever you want to do, but just check it out and listen to it. We love you. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is called Been Away Too Long. Thank you very much. How are we feeling? for the folks back home. So make some noise. 
Make your face any way you want to look. Make some noise! Sao Paulo, Lollapalooza, Brazil! 2014! A decade too late for us, but it's never too late. You guys are amazing, yeah! Chester Bennington, give it up! Thank you. Chris Cornell!